let's talk about rounding and do some examples. So first, the rules of rounding. Now, in basic idea, we want to figure out what are we rounding to? So you got to locate that. I like to underline it and say I'm, I'm rounding to this digit. So we always look at one digit past, the digit following. If that following digit is less than five, we leave this alone and everything back here becomes zeros. If the digit following is five or greater, then this digit goes up by one. We call that rounding up. And again, everything after that is zero. Now, sometimes I think this is a little confusing. So let's talk about it in terms of examples. Now, we're going to do quite a few of these. Um, but we're going to round all kinds of different pieces. So notice, and I still do this when I'm doing math, right? I am a very visual learner. So we're going to round 875 to the nearest 100. So 8 is the digit I am rounding to. So then I look at the digit following. 7 is greater than or equal to 5, so we round up. So that means the 8, we add 1 to that, so we make that a 9, and then the digits past that become zeros. So if you think about this, we're rounding to the nearest 100, so my answer should be hundreds, right? So 900. In letter B, we want to round to the nearest hundredth. The TH tells me it's to the right of the decimal point. So f this five is in the hundredths place. I look one place past and four is less than five. So I'm gonna round down, meaning the five stays the same. So I have 0.75. Now you can make those other two zeros, but because we are to the right of the decimal, that is the same as just 0.75. 1,765 to the nearest 10. Six is in the 10 place. I look at five. Five, five tells me to round up, so we're going to add one to the six. Anything in front of that stays. So the 17 stays. Six goes to seven, and I end with a zero. 3.14, which is pi, to the nearest whole number. So three is the nearest whole number. One is less than five, so I round down. So my nearest whole number is just three. Let's do some more. 33.8 million to the nearest million. Now, when you have 33.8 million, the 33 are the millions, and the 8 is in the next section, which would be in the thousands. So if we're looking at nearest million, that means I'm looking at the 3. The 8 tells me to round up. So rounded to the nearest million would be 34 million. 5.27639 to the nearest thousandths. THS at the end tells me to the right of the decimal. So one, two, we're looking at the six. Three tells me to round down. So I'm just at 5.276. 156 and 526 thousandths to the nearest tenth. Well, this five here, one place past the decimal is in the tenths place. Two tells me to round down. So I just have 156.5. So the position that you're rounding to is the last time you should have a non-zero number, right? So anything to the right of that would be zeros. In number eight, we're going to the nearest ten thousandths. So I have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this eight is in the ten thousandths. So nine tells me to round up. So 0 0.0069. Just a couple more. 416 and 72 billion. Okay, um, to the nearest 10 billion. All right, these three numbers are in the billions, and we're looking for the nearest 10 billion, so that would be this one. That six tells me to round up, so I'm at 420 billion. And then we have 31,540,000 to the nearest 100,000. Well, the five is in the 100,000 place. So four tells me to round down, so I have 31 comma five, and then everything else is zeros. The more you practice these, the easier they get. So let's answer a couple of questions. Sometimes units dictate rounding. For example, would you write that someone earns $8.3 an hour? Why or why not? And that answer is generally no. 
Because when we're talking about money, we talk about dollars and cents. So we would say $8.30, not $8 and three tenths. That eight and three tenths dollars. That doesn't make sense. So if we're talking about money, we would generally round to the nearest hundredth because that's the nearest cent, right? Two decimal places. And that takes me to the next one. When working with money, we generally round values to the nearest cent, which is also known as the hundredth. Two decimal places, or two places past the decimal. So in 13 and 14, if we round, well, 13, we round to the nearest cent. So that's two decimal places past. Two tells me to round down. So I have $3,674.86. In 14, we round to the nearest dollar. Now, dollar is here, this nine. If I look one place past, that nine tells me to round up. Now, don't be fooled here. If I just look at this as a whole, if I have 499 and we're going up by one, that takes me to 500. So when I round up, I get 7,500. Because if you think about this, if you take this nine and it rounds up, this nine becomes a 10, carry my one. Nine plus one is 10, carry my one. And then we have 500. So that's why it matters. And that hopefully gets you some extra practice with rounding.